Na na nsika kwa believe angel abi. All along AJ has been lamenting it. And all, all along people have been advising that she should be conscious of that guy. That guy behaved somehow when Nsika pranked him. Ahmed behaved somehow when Nsika pranked him with that pregnancy. Let's assume that yes, he wasn't ready for any baby yet. But him telling her to go ahead and take care of it was a mess from his own angle. And he brought out what would happen in the future if eventually Nsika gets pregnant for him. Ranging from what has been happening, he said he's not yet ready, he's not this, he's not that. Yet, he wants Nsika to do more than a girlfriend do, does for her, for her boyfriend. You sleep with her, B? Uh -huh, that one on agreement. Then you want her to go and visit your people. You want her to go and see your mother. In what angle? This guy don't know saying a Nigerian in the, in the, the relationship with. Then go say Angela let her know say. In Nigeria, where, she, where they come from. When a guy talks say he want carry in girlfriend, go meet him mama. Ha. Now me say he want carry the relationship to another level. But Ahmed no seeing like that. Look at the way he even he was even shocked when Angela was like, "Do you want to get married? Do you want to propose?" He was like, "No, no, no, no." As in, he was so furious. He wasn't even ready. Like he's not ready. He's not showing any uh, any uh, evidence. Any nothing is showing that he's ready to even settle down. And Ansikag is expecting more than just being a girlfriend from this guy Nsikak is expecting more than just being a girlfriend from this guy and my advice to Nsikak is that she should be conscious of that guy may she no go carry all her mind all her body all her spirit carry go give that guy so that at the end of the day if eventually what she has been expecting from the guy no still come she can be able to get herself back she can be able able to put herself together and move forward okay look at what ng has been saying now look at what she has been trying to convince everybody that ahmed is lying about the so-called rose let's assume now that there was an ex called rose i think that is an ex but my question is why lie about that ex why lie that you never had anybody in a relationship that is named rose why make it look as if the girl angel is talking out of out of sense like you are making her look like a fool she doesn't understand what she's talking about nothing nothing why do it like that that's why the girl is looking for a way to convince her madam at least because from the behavior of Ahmed and the sick they don't want her to choke in but but that time angel to do sha it was as if she wants she wanted to be in control of their relationship for them so nobody would blame them for telling her to step aside and allow them to make their decisions whether they are going to continue with the relationship or not but at the same time the girl was trying to pinpoint something and that thing is she's trying to pinpoint is the evidences that she has been bringing all along she has brought the pictures she has brought video though angela has not shown us the video yet i just wish she's going to show us the video so that we too online in law men will follow judge the matter too and when they speak okay when she she already spoke with the lady rose abby she spoke with the person and the, from the way the lady sounded, it was as if she she knows who the guy is. As in, from the way she sounded, there was, there was nothing like mixture. She didn't mix any words together. She did not just blab. It was she sounded as though it's true. She knows what she's talking about. Angel knows what she's talking about. Okay, now let's see what let's see what Ahmed is going to do about it when she he eventually hears from Rose. Let's know whether Angel has been telling lies or the Rose herself has been telling lies, maybe walking hand in hand with Angel. I doubt if that is the case, but
At the end of the day, everything still falls on Nsikak to be conscious of herself. Now, the result of this thing now go make her know the kind of man she has been with. She be with the here say she they talk uh, about uh, there is some things that she has been noticing about him, some kind of movement that he has been making. He go they make movements now. She been a fine boy, he be and he they make him money. Yeah, he'll be making some certain movements. And Sikak is looks like a, a, a timid person for him. That's I'm sorry to say, but ah at the end of the day, it's still left for her to make her choice. If at the end of the day the guy really lied about these rules, hmm, Nsikak, you continuing with this guy, you continue with him in this relationship will be at your own risk. Because nobody will make that decision for you. Mami Anji will still tell you if you want to continue the relationship, now you go decide. If you don't want, now you still go decide. Make you not be said tomorrow. Hey, you go be like saying I should tell you what till you go do. You understand? So that's just the thing. Be careful with that guy. I'm not saying he's a bad person, but be careful. Make you know be say he's only looking for bakus. And when he's done with the bakus, he will now leave you and concentrate on his normal random girls. That's the advice. Nsikak. Guys, what do people think about this video? Kindly like, comment, and share this video. Also, follow us up on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative videos as this. And see you in our next video.